Hi guys, it's Natalie, and today we're going to be trying out Odin's Eye Cosmetics, specifically the new Hella palette, which is a collaboration with Angelica Neekvist. Trying out like a whole new <laughs> way of filming today with, you know, I'm using something else, so if it doesn't work out, um, oopsie. <laughs> I really wanted to try Odin's Eye for a while, but none of their large palettes really spoke to me color story-wise, even though I love the aesthetic. I love Nordic mythology, and so I love the whole like everything to do with the brand basically. <laughs> I had kind of like palette FOMO about the um, Giant Wolves palette with Annette's makeup corner. I really liked the way that one looked, but I kind of like forgot about it. <laughs> and then it ended up like selling out eventually. And yeah, I just never got it. I guess I'll wait until there's something else. And this one spoke to me. <laughs> this is like, all of my favorite eyeshadow colors and a lot of stuff in here that i don't have anything like so i was just you know i already stuck my fingers in some of the shades i couldn't help myself i also tacked on <laughs> the schooled palette because something about all shimmer palette really intrigued me i just kind of wanted to check it out and i wanted to use a nets code to support her i don't really have an idea of what i want to do with this just yet the some of these like more chunky metallics like some of the ones in the school palette have like a really like textured feeling and then they almost feel like they become a cream a little bit on contact there's something about the powder in them oh, oh wow i haven't really swatched any of the mattes except for the lightest one which is super pretty i'm gonna look at the shade underworld this one is the kind of like acid green yellow sort of a color and the shade moss the mattes feel kind of hard like they don't they're not like incredibly like yielding and so just a couple matte swatches underworld and moss but they're very pigmented wow, i love those kinds of colors really grungy green and yellow tones are like such a favorite of mine i saw some people shading the like baby poop color i love that i love that color i got the metropolis palette because of angelica nyquist and i love the color it's gorgeous wolf is like the like the most like neutrally shaded in here maybe decay is too <laughs> like i kind of am feeling a little bit boring right now i don't know why i'm a little bit plagued with choice in the moment i'm just gonna kind of start and see where I go. I'm gonna take a refer number one, a really tried and true kind of like crease and blending brush. I'm gonna take the shade Wolf, which is like the most boring brown shade in here because of course I would. It reminds me of some browns from the Natasha Dana Gold palette, like for sure. I'm gonna try and layer a bunch of shades because I think that can be like a true testament to the quality of eyeshadow and whatnot. I'm kind of laying this down in the crease in the outer corner as just a really rough kind of like sketch of the shape that we're going for. I'm going to take the shade Moss. That was that like green matte. The shade Moss is a great green because it blends out on top of this wolf shade sort of like yellowy. I think I've seen a lot of people do like hot pink or like intense green looks with this palette and it kind of makes me want to just do like something else entirely. I'm going to take the moss shade onto the lid because I don't really know what I want to put on the lid just yet. So far I feel like these shadows are a little bit thin but not in a bad way. They're thin in the way that they're not like really intense all of a sudden. I think it's because they're a little bit more hard pressed compared to like the Kaleidos palette that Angelica did. That's my only experience with Kaleidos shadows. And those are like, in that palette specifically, are like off the bat right away, a lot of pigment and it can get very like blended out really fast. Whereas this is a little bit more like concentrated where you put it. I'm gonna take just like a small kind of like blending brush. I like to use this to kind of just put color in the outer corner. I'm gonna use the shade Decay this guy right here. This shade's a little bit powdery in the pan. Double-sided is a multi-chrome and I swatched it yesterday when I got this palette in the mail in the evening because I was like, 
I believe I need to touch that shade immediately. And it really reminds me of the Cleonid ones. I think the Cleonid ones are like a bit more like creamy, sparkly, and soft, just because that's the nature of the Cleonid shadows is they're like really soft to the touch. But it really like has that shine and it's very smooth. This Decay shade is really creating some depth nicely in the outer corner. It's not building as fast as I kind of want it to. I think because I went into this look with no idea in mind, I'm kind of at a loss anyway. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the bottom outer corner. It's a really interesting brown tone. It's almost like gray olive. It's really cool. And it pairs with these colors really nicely. I don't have anything like that at all. Really interesting. I really like, I like the blend happening here. I'll swatch the other shimmers right now. Hellfire. This one's like really, um, like textured looking in the pan. Ooh, that's so shiny. Oh my God. That shade is like intensely shiny. It's not like, people were saying it was chunky. This is not chunky at all, very smooth and has so many sparkles in it. It's definitely more sheer of a base, has like a really sheer base. Golden Bridge, I haven't swatched this one yet. Ooh. I kind of like, mm, uh, I'm swatching on the front of my arm, which is not going to be great, but you'll at least be able to see the color. Oh my God. Wait, I love that color so much. Oh my God. That shade still has like sparkles in it. It's not as like shiny wet looking, but it's like sparkly. I'm going to swatch the other greens in here. Fluorescence is this light one on the top row. And then... Venom is this like green green, which is kind of the whole reason I bought this palette, which is funny that I'm probably not going to use it today because I'm doing something a little bit less vibrant, but like, come on, um, fluorescence. Ooh, that swatch was horrible because you got all of the bones of my <laughs> um, wrist in there, but you can see those are insanely like sparkly. use my pinky finger to swatch the sparkling black in here called complete and then double-sided which is the multi-chrome shade the multi-chrome shade is definitely the smoothest and thinnest of them all wow complete is very like charcoal-y that one is really beautiful i love a sparkly black for like a one and done smoky kind of look and you can see just how far that goes it is insane and then oh my god i really can't get a swatch of this to show on camera like at all what the heck oh my god i really can't get it to show i don't understand can you see it at least on my finger i feel like you can see it on my finger that it does like a um orange like a vibrant orange and then a vibrant like yellowy green but like it's straight up clear so you just can't see it at all i i don't know what that's about <laughs> take an even smaller little brush from my outer corner this is the refer 13 and i'm going to go back into that shade dk this shade's a lot softer in the pan than other shades i think sometimes with dark shades that you like really want to build I don't know, I just can't get it like as dark as it looks in the pan. But it's not patchy at all or anything. I definitely got a lot of darkness happening out there. So I can't believe that this shade doesn't show. <laughs> I really can't, I really don't know. Okay, I think I'm going to start with Golden Bridge because I swatched the shade and I was like, okay. These go on like really thin. 
not in a bad way, but just in like a, it feels so creamy in the pan. It's like, just kind of interesting. These shadows are really hard pressed and it's not necessarily bad because you can really control how much you want to pick up. Oh, so I'm reading it all over to my brown bone. Don't mind the bangs. <laughs> the front of my hair, I have like little baby hairs. I've had them my whole life. And sometimes they decide to grow out and then I get like momentary bangs that I didn't ask for, which is fine. I love that color. Well, I'm really trying not to touch my arm to anything right now because it's absolutely a mess. Like, I'm gonna put the multi-crumb shade on like the inner third of my lid. It's, I'm so upset that I can't get this to do on camera because it's really like fluorescent. It's showing up really orange right now. You can kind of see that like orange glow. It's gonna make a really pretty face highlighter. I don't really like this shade of orange on like my cheeks. Other than that. I'm gonna put a little bit of inner corner highlight. This is just my face highlighter that I haven't put on yet. It's just like my skin tone. On the lower lash line, I want to put that like yellow color, but I don't really know what brush would be good for that. It's called Rebirth. And when I was swatching it yesterday, it like, I kind of had to swatch it like a couple times over itself. So I'm prepared to to like pack it on because my skin is so light it kind of it already acts as a white base but also it just kind of blends into my skin tone a little bit but you can definitely tell there's like fluorescent yellow down there i think i'm just gonna go back into wolf which was that like first color we started with and i'm just gonna go for everything with moss just to like have that green tinge there's something like unavoidably insane looking about doing your lower lash line. It's just part of the process. I'm gonna take the shade Decay again on like a rougher 03. This is like a really tiny pencil brush. And just kind of put it like right in the bottom outer corner. And then just like re-blend the top outer corner because I kind of got that golden bridge shade all over it. Doing It's like a little bit of a wing shape. I like a lot of darkness right against my lash line and the darkest shade in here is this soot shade which is not brown it's kind of like plum it kind of it only really becomes plum when you blend it out so i feel like i can get away with using it in this look i don't know why not so it's very pigmented which is nice I prefer the Decay shade was a little bit darker. I think that's just the problem, is that shade just isn't actually that dark. I really like this look. And it's totally unexpected, because I, it looks like super decidedly green. Like that shade, Golden Bridge, this one here, is like green. I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara on, and then we're gonna see what I think. <laughs> I've used a bunch of shades from it. I used Rebirth. Decay, Green or Golden Bridge, Moss, Wolf, Double Sided, and Soot. I wanted to use a little bit of the fluorescent shade, but I don't really think I have room to put that anywhere. I was gonna put that on the inner corner, and then I put the double sided shade there, like on the inner portion of the lid. So, so I don't know. It's too late. <laughs> I really enjoyed this look. I'm gonna see how it wears throughout the day and I'll probably just put something in the description or the comments or something. I really like it. I think they blended really nicely. I love the colors in here. It's truly about the color selection and if you like these kind of textured shadows, cause these do um, really feel like indie singles. It is an indie brand, but they really feel like indie singles for sure. You can just barely see that double-sided shade up top. The river and um, hellfire shades are intensely wet looking. You can kind of see double-sided right above hellfire, just the orange flash, but it flashes green and gold. Green and gold, for sure. And then the other ones are just like really sparkly, really pretty. 
And I think there's a lot of unique stuff here. It's very unique to me. And gosh, I love the packaging. I love Hella. I love the inspiration. You usually think that a Hella palette would be like green and blue or something, but I just like that it has a different kind of inspiration. It's not just Hella. It's sort of like Angie as Hella, you know? She wouldn't be blue, she'd be green. I'm really enjoying this. I'll do another video later, maybe also dipping back into that palette and using the schooled palette because the shades in here, I just have to swatch the shades Hope and Brilliant for you because like, absolutely insane. I mean, they're just, they're like duo chromey. That's how good they are. And I just, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know where to put them. <laughs> but they almost have like green sparkles in them. Really, they're just amazing. I think these shimmers are really out of the world. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this look took me like 30 minutes to do with me talking and I had no plan going in. So I didn't have any trouble blending or anything. Totally lovely. So I'll insert some pictures and videos of swatches and stuff after this. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. A little bit of phone front camera action just to show the look in some different lighting. I finished off my cheeks with a little bit of blush and stuff i'll put all the deeds in the description and my lips i just i literally was standing here but they're putting this on this is the unbuttoned closest lip oil because my lips are so dry <laughs> um yeah so that's the look it, it turns out like very like yellow but in that lovely green way that i love i love when yellow is like green a little bit of different lighting this you can really kind of see the multi-chrome color on the third half I don't know why it just really doesn't show amazingly in camera lighting. I'm going to definitely have to put swatches of it in and stuff, but it really in person shows a lot. So.